Hey guys, Jerry here and welcome back to Factorio. I have finished researching explosives and we're now working on the flammables um, so that we can, you know, up our military game a bit and actually get rid of those worms outside. I really, really don't like those worms, so I want to get rid of them as soon as we can. But um, we don't really have that much unlocked yet in terms of like new weapons and such, but we do have plastic, um, which we need to start fabricating. So as you can see this also uses petroleum gas like with the sulfur. And of course it's made in a chemical plant meaning that we'll first of all have to make a chemical plant. And second of all we're gonna have to split this uh, stream here. Um, or set up a new refinery but I'd, I'd rather just split the stream. And then we need to get some coal down here. So I don't believe that we have any coal here actually to be honest. Um, we do have coal. Lots of it. We just need to you know move it. So what I'm suggesting is that we take this coal line here and we just basically, um, if we can split it around here and then have it running sort of parallel to this one, bring it back here, down here and then maybe run down here, um, then we can connect some sort of underground pipe or something to this over here and actually get some, some gas out. Or we can take the coal all the way over here, that's also an option. But um, in any case, we're going to need to move some coal, so <laughs> let's just get started on that. So the first things first, uh, we're gonna need a splitter installed here. So I'm thinking that the cleverest way to do this is uh, maybe this and then if we remove this and just quickly pick up a bit here so we can actually see what's going on. We take we can take this part here and just, you know, take on the ground as we always intended to. So because of that invasion last time, I've actually only have one underground belt, so we need to make another one. And I think do we want to let, let's let's mirror things as much as we can. I think that that looks best. I don't know if you guys agree, but um, I think it looks best if it's sort of mirrored. So let's get this stuff all the way down here and down. And then the question is whether we want to go. Yeah, let's 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 go get over here. So we need. The chemical plant to come. Let's. We could also. Um, let's just have it like this then. No, wait. The plastic bar is something that you'll ha we're gonna have to grab out of it. So we want the coal potentially to run past the thing. Um. So if we do it like this, then we can take a pipe put one piece of pipe here and I think we want to go with as much underground pipe as we can again I've mentioned this before like the more underground pipe you have the better it is um, at least just so you can walk around pretty much uh, we're gonna need to make another underground transport belt as well and I'm just hoping that these can actually like go far enough that we can nope um, so we're going to end up in trouble here if we try to fit it in up here. So we're going to have to go down here with it instead. So let us take it here and then see how far can we make it. Only this far, but that should be fine. You can you can get a pipe through there. And finally, get some stuff here. It looks as though we might have broken some wiring. Oh, we're under attack. Fuck, not again. Uh, what, what's the button again? F. Why does it not play a sound when this shit happens? Why does it not play a sound when this sort of shit happens? Oh, for fuck's sake. God, that's a lot of cleanup. This is a... F holy shit, this is a lot of cleanup. Ugh. Again, why game do you not play as sound when I am being invaded by fucking rodents and rats and other shit? Like, if there is ever was anything worth complaining about, this would be it. Play a fucking sound. A big one, a noisy one, that even when I have music down, I can hear it. God. 
that. So I have absolutely no clue how much of this stuff I'll need to, to build again to replace stuff. A bunch, without doubt. Uh, first order of business should be to get power back online. Second order of business should be to get some defense storage. Yeah, see, they're already on it again. At least this time they went for the wall, meaning that... At least I can defend there. Need some new ammo. God damn it. I was wondering why the power went off. Ugh. Need more. Need some iron. Do we have any iron left over up here? Yes, we do. I really hate that camp right outside the gate, like that's what's spawning pretty much all of them, I guarantee it. So we had one of these here and one behind it. That should be enough to get some partial power up at least. And then we hopefully have some inserters on us. And do we have power lines? I guess we're going to have to set up like one of these here. And can we actually connect these two somehow? I don't even know anymore. So much, so much stuff has just like completely gotten wrecked by these little bastards. Um. And quite frankly, I'm not appreciative of it. We need to get some more defense up. That's without question. <sighs> we need to figure out exactly how much stuff is broken here. I've lost a furnace. I've lost a bunch of power. Let's see, this power should be... Let's put it there. That'll connect everything at least. Um, we need some sort of power line in the middle here to connect all of this stuff there. And then we need another power line down here. And this one here won't do. It's in the wrong position. God. Such a mess. Such a complete and other mess. I don't I, I don't even know what to say, like that's it it's just such a complete mess. Like I'm absolutely speechless speechless about this. So there is no water coming through here, I guess we have a Yeah, okay. Like apparently all the all the stuff that managed to brood up there was just due to solar power itself or alone. But it does look as though... If Can we... Is there a bigger map? Yeah. So this invasion come, came from down south. So either this guy or these guys actually went around. Um, in any case, it would probably be well worth... Yeah, okay, they, it's those guys. They basically they cut through the wall here. So let's get this wall set up again. And then build a basic turret. Now, a basic turret like this um, doesn't have a lot of range or anything, but it does give us a bit of warning. Um, and it, it can take out a couple of, of things attacking, so it's not too bad. Get a bit of ammo in there. It's not, it's not going to last a long time, but it's something at least. So we still have a bunch more of these steam engines to get up and running. We need a bunch more pipes to get that up and running again. Do we actually have any pipes being manufactured anywhere or... Yeah. Excellent. That does save us a bit of time. So... 
but yeah, as you can probably guess, this means war. Like, I was already going for war, and now it's just even more so. See, they're already at it again. That was fucking bastard. Did they break through the wall? Or did he go all the way around? I don't even see them. Oh, they're up here. <sighs> these uh, I'm going through these repair packs so quickly. Whenever like these these walls have a lot of health, um, they really do. But they don't have enough to keep them at bay forever and like without any, some sort of um, you know a gun turret or something to keep them completely off my back let's just get some more iron here quickly flammables researched that's good we, need, we really need to get some ammo going here <sighs> uh, how are we doing on power now that we've lost a bunch of shit like, the reason I ran and picked up some stuff was also to get more of these. Now, I know I damaged a bunch of them by shooting with my shotgun, but... Unfortunately, that can't always be avoided. Alright, let's see. How's the power going? Production. We are still low, so we need at least one more of these. To keep up with demand. Uh, that's wrong placement. Let's just mimic it. And then we need to get this boiler here back in position. It needs a couple of inserters, so we need one for coal. And we need one for produce. But I'm not going to make an inserter when we have a bunch of them lying up here. So I think we have a bunch of them lying up here. Yes, we do. So, new research. Let's get started on some more flamethrower. That's the one. A flamethrower will... It does a sh so much damage. It's ridiculous. It's really, really, really powerful. And I'm looking very much forward to having one now. So, so much for getting our, you know, our plastic supply done, or on. When we just have to spend the entire episode just basically fixing up after these bastards came in. And wrecked the place. We also appear to have a bunch of holes in the conveyor belt here. That should be fixed now. I'm not quite sure what it was was here before, whether it was a, like an electric pole. Oh god, they're at, they're at it again already. Alright, this time. Bring out the submachine gun. Because it doesn't damage the walls. And then... I don't see them anywhere else, so I think that was what we had here. But let's get this thing up and running here. Put in whatever ammo we have for it. And just get as much of these walls fixed up as we can. Um, I'm going to need to set up an ammo factory. Um, at the, as, as it is right now, it's not going to be feasible for us to uh, set up automatic um, delivery of ammo to the turrets. But at the very least, we can fabricate it so I don't have to you know, run around waiting for ammo all the time. So that's going to be a boon. So let's have this factory over here. Get a little electric pole here to actually connect it. Now luckily the ammo only uses iron plates, like the, the regular stuff. And I think the regular stuff will be fine just for now. So that's what we're going to go with. And we need a chest of sorts. Let's just make an iron chest because we don't have that much wood. And then... There we are. Ammo being fabricated. Iron is iron production is back on track. Nothing has luckily harmed our coal production, so that's going on along fine. And the the green energy up here seems to be safe so far. Like we can just have a look at it quickly to check. Yeah, all the accumulators up here, solar panels doing fine. Again, the more of them we can get, the better it is. Um, just to avoid anchoring the locals more than we have to. But as it is right now, um, we're past the stage of anchoring. We are at the p the point of complete and other 
Um, like, we're at total war. I want those guys gone. I want them out of here. And they're already at it again. God fucking damn it. So yeah, they managed to damage the turret through the wall. That's impressive enough in itself, I think. Um, the wall doesn't completely connect, did it? No. But yeah, this thing took care of the the invasion this time. But it did use our free magazines just for that little thing. Flamethrower done. Next up, rocketry. Will give us a rocket launcher. That should be good against the worms. If the if the flamethrower is not enough, at least. So let's see how much ammo do we have here now. We have 22. We can. Yeah, let's just toss it all up here. We need to get this thing beefed up. Um, so we have some defense up here. Because this appears to be where they go most of the time, so yoink, in there with that. We also need a turret around here, but I consider this slightly less priority. Let's just make a flamethrower here, order up one of these repair packs, and then we need to start making some flamethrower fuel. Now this stuff, you can see iron plate, heavy oil, light oil, so it needs all the, the separate oil that we have as well as iron plates to make flamethrower fuel. Again, we can just deliver the iron plates by hand and, and get the oil uh, loaded into a um, chemical processing plant, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Now, I'm actually considering whether we should j just repurpose this one here. Yeah, let's, let's repurpose this one because this is slightly higher priority. So if we put this here, connect there, Connect there. Flamethrower fuel. And power. That means we need one of these electric poles. Where did it go? Here. That should just about reach it. And this stuff, if we... Um, do we need a pump on these uh, things, or will they just... Oh, of course, it's the wrong way around. That is just so typical of this game. It just absolutely wants to, to make life difficult for me. That's... Well, that's, I guess that's fine, whatever. I guess we'll just pick up this thing. And let's try again, shall we? So if we put this... What, here? We'll, we'll let that line up then. Combat. So we got... nope. It will not line up that way. We need to somehow mix it around, so I guess we need an underground pipe. We need two of them, I guess, maybe. So... one there, one there. Underground pipe from here to here. And then underground pipe from here to here. Military, that stuff. There we go. Now we just need a wee bit more power transfer. And of course, we're already being attacked again. This time I caught them at the wall, so hopefully I can make it over there in time, but we need more turrets, we need more turrets, we need a flamethrower. God damn, I hate those guys. I really hate them. I really do. <sighs> Let's have a look here. Flamethrower should be done. Or the not, the flamethrower is done, but there should be some fuel ready for us as well. Yeah, there we are. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go out there. And we're going to act some hold of vengeance on these uh, mother truckers. So, make a little hole here, in the wall. Uh, get some wall pieces down back here and put it back in. And then, I know it's night time so the worms will... There we are, that's the stuff. Why am I not hitting him? Why am I not hitting them? That's stupid. Oh god, those worms. 
I can't. Uh, I completely forgot. I can't actually deal with the worms. I can, I can reduce the number of those a bit, but I can't deal with the worms. I don't have the range for it. At least I don't think so. Nope. <laughs> nope. Let's see. What's the latest auto save? Is that this one? Yeah. All right. This was one on the. Oh, this was one on my way to pick up the flamethrower fuel. So. Apart from the rocket launcher, we also need to find some better armor somehow. God, what a pain in the dick. My vocabulary is all the way out there, guys. I am sorry about that, but this really is grinding my gears. Like, the fact that the game is being so completely um, unhelpful on this matter by not giving me messages and such, that's... Um, it's not doing anything to help my mood. Yeah, at least we have the coal now down here now for plastics, so if we can get the f parts for another one of those chemical plants. It's gonna, just going to take a moment to make. Well, that way, then we can put the chemical plant back over here. And get it set up to make the plastic. And at least that'll be something. So, there, plastic. We need an inserter. We need power line. And it is connected. And there we are, plastic. Now we just need one more inserter and a chest of some sort. Let's get the inserter first so we know where we have power. Nowhere! It's where we have power. Alright. I guess we can fix that then. Plastic bars. Excellent. Alright, plastic's being fa manufactured. Flamethrower fuels being manufactured. How much of this stuff do we have now? None. We've used all the iron. Let's just get a bit extra. There we are. And I think... Oh, they've also damaged this thing. <sighs> I hate these guys. I hate them. I really do. So we need more, even more of these little repair things. They're very useful, but yeah, I guess they don't like me s s uh, spying on them. How much ammo do we have now? There we go, 82. That's enough to fill up this one up here completely. Um, or at least fill up to 50, and then we can make one more gun turret and place it down here somewhere. And then hopefully that'll... Yeah, that's half of what we have. And then let's quickly, just before we end this, get some, get a bit of iron, and then get the other one here. Now, which part of this wall seems to be the most heavily hit? They do hit down here, but they've also hit up here before. So that's that's not a turret. Um, I'm wondering why why does it do that? Anyway, let's put it here, put in the ammo. And that'll take care of some of it at least. But like th those worms, like medium worms, I have n rarely encountered them this early in the game before, and it is really pro uh, proving a big problem for us because, well, until I get either the next tier armor or um, some, I don't know, some combat robotics or a big big rocket launcher that can take them out from far, far away, I just don't think that um, I can really uh, do much about it. Like, where, where is armor crafting free here? Requires speed module. Basic modular armor. Advanced circuits and pro processing units. Grid size, 5x5. Five five. Requires some sort of, um, like you can put in, I guess, various upgrades to this sort of power armor. I guess that's pretty good. Energy shield. Rocket defense. Yeah, like th I think this is like the end game of the of the thing. Rocket defense is basically once you have rocket defense, your reinforcements can land. But until then, I think stuff like some combat robotics or something we can set, send some drones out there. Um, I think that might be a good choice. But other than that, we have to we have the uh, rockets coming in soon enough. Hopefully, the range on those will 
Like those have those have twenty to two range, which is a lot better than any of the other things we have. The shotgun should maybe nearly be able to hit stuff from but um again how much exactly is twenty range and can we survive the hits until we actually do some stuff and that's the question and I honestly I don't think we can but we'll see like rocketry is coming soon and then we'll have some rockets and such to toss at them and hopefully that will fix the problem for us but until until then I'm Jerry this has been Factorio with a lot of invasion and I hope you enjoyed bye <laughs>